Hi, welcome to another filmmaking tutorial. My name is Tom Antos, and today I'm going to talk about umbrella lights and the reviews in fashion, glamour photography, and, and music videos. Uh, d d here's an example that we're going to be working on. This is the original scene, and we're going to turn this into this kind of a looking shot. Um, this example uses only three lights. Again, uh, like in most of my tutorials, I, tr I try to stick to uh, as few lights as possible, and also lights that are available to most people out there. Um, so you can try this, you know, on your little production at home, but still be able to get professional kind of results. Um, so the first thing I'll start off is kind of explaining what are uh, umbrella lights. Umbrella lights are basically like you see up here in this example. Uh, it's basically an umbrella with a silver kind of a lining or a cloth inside it, which allows you to bounce the light off of. It's very similar to any kind of reflector. Uh, um, that is used in photography or, or film or video productions. Uh, the difference is the shape of it. it. Because of its kind of a curved shape, it l bounces light within the umbrella, uh, you know, internally a lot more, creating a very kind of even and and soft kind of uh, look. Um, the umbrella lights are sort of like soft boxes, but they're a little bit less directional and the shadows r r are, are, I would say, even even softer. So here's the light that I'm going to use in this example. Uh, mounts on a standard light stand. Uh, you can buy this kind of a mount um, that holds the light bulbs and the umbrella together on, on eBay or any kind of you know photography store. Uh, just a look out there. Uh, this one that I got uh, cost me around, um, it's around $80, I believe. Uh, altogether, um, um, basically what it does is it mounts on a standard light stand, and then it will allow you to attach an umbrella. Uh, the umbrella that I'm using here in this example is fairly large; uh, it's around 45 or 50 inches, ev even I, b I believe, which is probably as big an umbrella as you'll ever want. Uh, it's going to allow you to light a pretty big area, like uh, you can light. Uh, uh, let's let's say if you're lighting a model, you can light them, you know, from head to toe. Uh, you can see me up here mounting the umbrella into this light stand and then up here I'm gonna put in two light bulbs and these are fluorescent light bulbs they are, they're about a hundred watts each uh, the reason why I'm using fluorescence as opposed to tungsten lights is because th this umbrella that I have cannot take uh, handle very very high temperatures and since fluorescent lights produce very little heat, they work perfectly. If I were to put, let's say, um, a 1000 watt, let's say, tungsten light uh, in here, it would probably just melt the umbrella away or, or, or you know, set the whole thing on fire, which is not the safest way to work. Uh, whereas these two fluorescent light bulbs, uh, together, they draw around 200 watts, yet the uh, amount of light they output is comparable to probably around, uh, let's say, like a 600 watt light uh, tungsten light. Uh, so they're, they're pretty nice and strong, and uh, and basically what you do is you point these light bulbs straight at the umbrella, not at your subject, so that you're not lighting the subject directly with the light bulbs. Instead, what you're doing is you're allowing the light to kind of bounce all over this light uh, umbrella and then shine back onto the your subject, uh, creating kind of a big light source. Then the second kind of a light that I'm going to be using in this example is. Um, of 1000 watt tungsten. These are actually redheads. You see me mounting them up here. Uh, and here in the back, I just adjust them to spot so that they, they kind of limit the, the amount of spill. Uh, and they just kind of very, the very they, this way they create a kind of very concentrated light source. Um, here's a little diagram of how the whole setup looks. Uh, we start with the camera pointing at our foreground subject, and in the corner on the left side, we'll see our background subject kind of leaning there against the against the the post. Uh, again, this whole setup is uh, located in, um, in the back of this little restaurant slash lounge that had l a lot of very nice practical lights uh, on the walls and you know the chandeliers that you see there in the corner. Uh, which kind of add a lot to the overall look of this shot. So once again, it's something that I talk about in tutorial one, and then later on in tutorial, I believe three. Um, production value, you know, location scouting, all those kind of things. They they all add up to the overall look of your shot. So it's something to pay attention. Um, then here I had uh, I had the 200 watt umbrella, which is just off to the left side of the camera, and around uh, around six feet uh, away from the subject. 
and then I just put two to the 1000 watt lights one aiming straight at the uh, subject in the background uh, and just illuminating her and then another one kind of to the right side slightly behind our foreground subject kind of creating this rim light from the side uh, just kind of adds a more dramatic kind of touch to the shot and here is the final shot um, what it's still missing is a little co color correction which we'll do at the end um, I want to show you maybe another a few examples of uh, what you can do with umbrella lights. Here's a few photographs that I took uh, a few years back uh, of uh, this model, and um, again, and here as you can see, what it allowed me to create this very kind of even, soft kind of looking light. Uh, no harsh shadows, as you can see. The skin also looks very, very smooth and silky. That's kind of what uh, big umbrella lights are, are good for because. Uh, they they cr add this very even and 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 very kind of soft reflection uh, on in the skin or in any metal kind of objects like uh, you can see up here when you look at the bracelets uh, she's wearing uh, or also you know uh, in the eyes of the subject or, or or any kind of shiny surfaces which just kind of adds this nice sparkle and you know this kind of glamour look to your to your shot. Um, and uh, now we're going to go back to our example and here's the basically with color correction our final final uh, shot uh, i in i'm intercutting it here with uh, with basically a wider version of that shot all i simply did is i changed out the lens uh, i started out on a 50 millimeter lens and then i switched to a um, 24 millimeter lens and i don't have to readjust the lights or nothing um, and this way i got you know two different kind of shots that i can intercut together and here's the final thing. Yeah, but I tried again, let's start with the basics. Uh -huh. This girl got me intrigued. Uh. The good girl, but it's hard to believe. Yeah. I don't know if she the type I would kick it with. She seemed like she the wife I could live it with. If she rides, I don't know what I'm driven in. If it was a race, I don't know what I'm finishing. I see the uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any more suggestions, comments, please uh, leave them below. And also, if you create any, any videos yourself uh, using some of these techniques that I explained up here, Feel feel free to respond to this video, uh, and uh, I'm gonna add it so others can see it. Um, and also, if you have any e questions or comments, uh, e message me or email me. Thanks. Bye.